Ziggy. Welcome to my Shadow Bender project. Um, this is going to probably be the third installment, but I haven't even made the second one yet. <laughs> but I'll probably, I, I wouldn't, uh, yeah, so I'll probably do that soon. Um, not tonight though, because I'm currently preparing for a presentation tomorrow. Um, the project that will be mentioned in the second vlog. Yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, do it tomorrow. I must say it was quite unexpectedly nice to work to, to do the group projects. Normally whenever professors announce a group project everyone goes like no and usually I do that as well but this time it was surprisingly surprisingly nice people and all of us just um all of us did enough work. It's like nobody is just did nothing or anything and whenever we set deadlines everybody kept to them as well and I think we did really good work so I'm excited to do to finish it tomorrow with the rest of my they, they've become friends now I didn't know them before but they've become friends now and yeah that's nice it's nice when it goes like <sighs> um I'm a bit nervous um presentation in uh, half an hour or something so I, I went through it lots and lots of times yesterday, so I think I know it well enough, but you never know when you're nervous, you like trip up, no? So I'm donating plasma. Donating plasma is really not that bad, it's kind of like donating blood, only they filter out your plasma, that's the yellow stuff in the bag, and uh, then they return your blood, which feels kind of gross, but it's not really, it's not really, you get used to it. And uh, afterwards, they give you a saline infusion, like the salt stuff, uh, to help you recover. That feels really, like, pretty, it's pretty cold and it feels kind of gross. <laughs> but yeah, all, all in all, it's not actually that bad to do, to be honest. They even give you a free drink afterwards. <laughs> so I just, got, I just got back from um, donating plasma. Um... I'm not allowed to donate blood, well I did that once but I'm well too short and too small. <laughs> I don't I have enough blood for myself but I don't have enough blood to donate. Um and um I'm allowed to give plasma but only five hundred milliliters, no more than that, because of the same reasons. I had this really interesting conversation with uh, someone who was donating on the bed beside me just now and uh, they asked me if I had a specific reason. I don't really, I don't have a specific reason, but I do like to, it's one of the ways you can give back without having to do too much. It's just an easy way to help and you, you, don't, you never know, it might save somebody's life because you gave 500 milliliters of something that your body will recuperate really fast. and so. Uh, if anyone's listening, I would urge you to see if you can donate as well because you never know whose life you might save by just doing that little bit. Um, there might be a thunderstorm outside, which would be really cool. I love that kind of thing. I'm switching my bed around because it's raining and it's so much nicer. It's nice to sleep with rain. <laughs> Before I go to bed at night, I have this habit of cleaning everything up. So I do the dishes, make sure that like all my plates are clean and put away, and that well, I make my bed every morning. But just now it's prepared for bed. It's like I put away my clothes and um, like the notes I make today in order in their proper places, things like that. Um, it's because I, I wasn't always the cleanest person. Uh, neatest definitely not and uh, it's been it's like trying to keep up good habits so <laughs> my place doesn't turn into a huge mess. The last thing I do every night before I go to bed is fill in this book. It's a, it's a Dutch one but it's basically a question a day and you make a unique portrait of yourself over five years. I've got like 365 five questions over five years so that's 1825 answers um i think i'm almost i think i'm almost that
May the 5th is the first day I started, so this is 2015, this will be 2016, 17, 18, 19. Um, I think it's really nice to do, although I don't always remember to do it, but my friend gave it to me. It's kind of like questions like, uh, what do you like to do best on Sunday morning? And my answer is sleeping, of course. Uh.